What is poppin' everybody? You got Count Viario here, back with another guest narration for my man Dockerich. This is Kushalos versus Hansuki for a new snake once again. And uh, let's take a look at our teams. Both of them very standard, fairly standard, bulky offensive teams. I like that Kushalos actually brought a uh, Pharaoh Seed, which is not moving. I think Pharaoh Seed doesn't move anyway, so that's fair. Um, Kansuki actually brought a... Hansuki, sorry, actually brought a Comfy. Which, its matchup is not great if it's not HP Fire because of the Ferris Seed. Anyways, um, Antuki has a very, very, very bulky offensive team. I'm, I'm curious whether his, uh, his Incineroar is going to be Z-move or not. Because he doesn't really need a Blizzard switch in since he has a Vaporeon. But his freeze dry switch is non-existent for Phenolux. So, uh, whereas Kushalos, if he has Ace, but Death, Diancy... Well, actually, it should be Spadef Pharisee, because that's like the standard spread. Uh, with maybe Fistaf Slowbro. Uh, since Diantis is only Rocker, I'm not assuming it's uh, Specs. It could be Rock's Pharisee, but who runs Rock's Pharisee? Yeah, I don't think it's Specs Diancy. I think it's Rock's Diancy with uh, Spike's Pharisee. That makes the most sense to me. So it could be uh, could be Spadef Diancy, which takes on the Ice Cream anyway. Anyways, it's uh, Vaporeon Lead versus Incineroar. Um, Vaporeon can Scald here very freely. It would be a bit sucky if he if he burns the Slowbro, but I think his his team deals with it fairly well. Mm. It's it's rough. He goes hard to Pissimian, doesn't want to get knocked off apparently. Pissimian loses the Choice Scarf, which kind of helps in this game, to be honest. He's just going to knock off the Slowbro immediately. It is a Z Slowbro. Uh, presumably Waterium Z. So he can just U-turn here and go out into... Either Vaporeon or Zatu. Even Comfy if he wanted to. I like Zatu best. He does go Zatu. Yep. On the future side. So, this is a Z move future side Slowbro. So, in that case, I'm actually going to assume it's Z future side. Uh, because that's a really strong move. Whereas Z Scald is like only 160 base power. Uh, Zatu goes for the U turn on the Incineroar. On the incoming Incineroar, I should say. He could go to Vaporeon again. He could go to Pissimian. Steelix, I don't like too much. And Incineroar I don't like too much either. I would either go to Pissimian or Vaporeon here. Pissimian gives you another U-turn, but he might not switch. <laughs> if Comfy is actually the HP Fire set, it can straight up sweep Kushalos. There is very little he can do since he's he's not even AV, bro. Um, Incineroar has to be Z to take that out. It might be Z Flirted. He goes for the Protect on Knockoff. Okay, that's fair. As a future side, it's still doing a good amount of damage. Such a strong attack. Um, I don't know if he wants to get Vaporeon tox uh, knocked. He does. He does get the Toxic off on uh, Incineroar, which is really good. And he could go for the Wish now. Yep. And try to get his Vaporeon back to full health. Uh, this does give Kushalos potentially rocks. Because he could go to Ferrisseed here. Yeah, exactly. And um, if Hans uh, Hansuki, right? If Hansuki wants to keep his Vaporeon alive, he has to uh, protect her IMO. So he can get up rocks. Ah, he actually leads you. The reason I said that is because Rocks was no drawback really. The only drawback would be there would be Rocks up on your side. But at the same time, um, <laughs> at the same time, his uh, his Vaporeon would still be at twenty seven percent. So I think that would be worth it. It's it's like either you get Rocks up or Vaporeon stays low. Of course, Rocks on your side would be sucky when you have your own Incineroar and Zatu weak to it. Anyway, Leechy on the incoming Zatu wasn't great, and now his Zatu is being hit with a Nightshade. Kind of a standoff here, and they might just nightshade each other, but he does go for the U-turn. Takes the Rocky Helmet, which does more damage than the U-turn, and gets his Incineroar in. And he could just throw off a knockoff here. I'm assuming Diancy might want to come in. He could go into Pissimian if he wants to, uh, but I think Diancy is there only for this mod. He clicks U-turn, apparently he knows that this is the Barry Incineroar, or he's like max speed Zata to outspeed Incineroars. That's possible too. Enough speed for Adamant Incineroar, presumably. Um, goes into Pissimian on a Dark Slayer, it doesn't take much damage at all. And um, he could just throw over close combat here, really. But I kind of like the U turn too. The Zatu is decently obvious. He could go to Comfy, but I don't like the Comfy play. You want to keep Comfy rather healthy. Hmm. He does go Comfy actually on the close combat. That's going to do a good chunk. 36%. Yeah, Comfy's defense isn't that high. Um, this Pissimian is still locked into close combat though, so. Hansuki could double out here. Not sure what he would double out into. Maybe Zatu on the Ferrisseed. Um, 
Kushanas could also go into Incineroar though. But that does take toxic damage, so... Toxic plus a Draining Kush, actually. That's not life orb. That gained 22%. Is it Big Root? <laughs> it gained so much HP. That's crazy. It might be Big Root. I'm not going to calc that because I don't have the time. Um, but yeah, he has to switch out into... Probably Vaporeon again. His Vaporeon is at 77%, so that's kind of fine. U-turn only does 13, and Incineroar is still toxic. So the timer is actually pretty nice. He's going to U-turn out into, what, Pharaoh Seed again? He doesn't deal with water types too well. He could go Slowbro, but Slowbro gets toxic as well. We do know his future side, though, and uh, the best is Vaporeon could do is toxic it. Goes to Satu. Presumably to toxic himself. Hansuki could go into his own Zatu though, so I don't know if that's the play. He could even throw over Wish here, but Wish on a Toxic would be kind of bad. Because I don't think he has Heal Bell. As he protects on a Toxic, yeah exactly. He could have gone into his own Zatu and Kushalos' Zatu would have been Toxic. Goes to Steelix though as a mid-ground play. Makes sense, and Kushalos makes the mid-ground play of Roosting. Not risking his own Zatu getting Toxic. Nightshade does a good chunk, he's gonna Curse up. To try to get... Curse Steelix still doesn't beat, especially without Leftovers. Is he Barry? He still doesn't really beat Zatudor. It's gonna heavy slam to 65%. Oh, if he was Barry, it's never gonna activate. That's That sucks. If he was the 50% Barry. I would have to take one more... Uh, or actually two more percent. This Zato can just knock it out with Nightshade though. Uh, you could switch out on that, but... Then what? I don't know, he kind of just threw Steelix away, right? Yeah, he goes to Passimian on the Nightshade. Now you kind of just lost health and Passimian for no reason either. If Kushalos is just going to roost up his Zatu next time, then he didn't lose anything. He just did a lot of damage for free. Knock off on a Slowbro does only 29%. And uh, Hansuki is not really finding ways to break through Kushalos. If it is life up comping with HP Fire, he still has a good way of, of beating. That's a good win con. Uh, goes for the U-turn of 30%, which means his Slowbro is going to be very low next time. Um, I'm assuming he's going to go for maybe Future Side? Maybe Z Future Side? He selects off, actually. Okay. So Comfy is in. Um, let's see if he has Calm Mind. He has Taunt. So he's not Calm Mind. He could still be... Uh, well, actually, he could be Calm Mind, but I doubt he's HP Fire in that case. Um, the Taunt play itself was really weird, too, because it didn't really gain him anything. Goes to Slowbro on the Steelix. Which still gives him a free scald. Once again, I think Future Side is just very free. Uh, especially considering Hansuki can't go into Incineroar on a potential scald. Because then how is he ever killing the Pharisee? Especially with Zatu still there with the Rocky Helmet for the Pissimian. Like, <laughs> I don't think he can ever kill the Pharisee at that point. But yeah, goes to Zatu on the scald. Does he burn? That's 41%. No burn. Goes to Truce. Does he go for scald again? No, he Call Mines actually. Oh, that is scary. So it's Call Mines, Slack Off, Future Sight, Scald with a Z move. Either Psychium or Wotirium. I could see him just Scalding here, but the Vaporeon switch in is fairly obvious. Goes for Call Mine again. Okay. So Z Future Sight? Because that's the only reason I could see him do that. Z Future Sight. That's not going to be Scald. He wouldn't go for that first Vaporeon. So Vaporeon gone is really, really good for Kushalos. Um, also, Scald switch-ins? Nothing. Like, I'm not even sure how he's killing this right now. If Incineroar is the berry variant, then he's not killing him. Um, I think he went for Darkest Lariat earlier though, so I don't think it's the berry very variant. Uh, Kushalos could just go into his own Incineroar as well, that's a fairly safe play. Yeah. Nice. On the Darkest Lariat, does 12% after the Intimidate. But, this is, uh, but Kushala's Incineroar is taking the Toxic damage, plus the Darkest Lariat. And it's slowly getting worn down. You could go for U-Turn here, but there's also a Zato with Rocky Helmet. Um, so I'm not sure if you want to do that. You could double out here if you really wanted to, into maybe the Yancy. He hasn't even gone to the Yancy, even though it's a pretty fine Incineroar switch in. Um, it might still be Specs the Yancy. Goes for the Swords Dance, gets U-Turned upon, and Pissimian is in. And I think you always just close combat here. You don't care if he wants to go Comfy or Zatu. Yeah, exactly. That Pissimian is a threat. That did so much. I was going to say that Incineroar is a threat. But this is this Pissimian is as well. Good god that Close Combat did a lot. Diancy on the Draining Kiss. 19% and he gained 17. I think that's Big Root. It's such a weird amount of HP it's gaining back. Because Diancy is only base 50 HP. Um. Anyway, Diancy can pretty freely go for Moomblast here. Because Steelix is at 29%. 
So there's not really any switching. Uh, I doubt this Comfy is combined because of the taunt. I'm assuming it's like Taunt Synthesis Giga Drain Drainicus? Not entirely sure. But yeah, if I were to stay anti, I would always click Moonblast here. Um, it's a fairly safe play versus everything. Mm -hmm. As Hansuki's taking a while thinking about this turn. Giga Drain is not going to do that much because he's not Life Orb. Um, and he gains a decent amount back, I guess, but... Eh. Hmm. What do you sack here? I guess Lix, because it's so low anyway. Like, what's Lix doing at this point? He sacked it. <laughs> I understand that Lix wasn't doing much anyway because of the Zatu, but he had to pressure the Zatu in some way in order for Lix to do something, uh, which he didn't do. Goes for the Calm Mind, actually. Oh, the Moonblast? Yep. 48%. That might be Specs. Because that's a plus one compy. Presumably a very, fairly bulky one, too. Um, and it still did 48. Yeah, might be specs. Anyways, um, this Comfy has to go for Giga Drain now, hoping he gets enough back to where Goomblast doesn't kill, which I'm sure it will. Um, I mean, he, he does have Big Root, I think. I'm still not sure, but I think, like, looking at the amount of HP he's getting back, whew. Uh, but he has no switches for this Comfy, so I kind of understand this play, but at the same time, I think his Wing Con will be gone at that point. Goes to Pharisee on the Draining Kiss, which still makes contact, so <laughs> Iron Warps. Um, so he didn't Giga Drain Diancy. Is he Draining Kiss plus HP Fire? That would be a very interesting set, but it wouldn't kill Pharisee at this range. Because Pharisee right now is at the range of plus one HP Fire. Uh, sorry, plus one Life Orb HP Fire. Goes to the Roost on the Diancy, Diancy can click Moonblast again, uh, assuming it's Specs. Goes for the U turn on the Diancy. Steelix is going to go down. Yeah, I think this is Specs Diancy, which means the Pharisee, this is Rocker. Mm -hmm. Which is fair. No spikes. That's That works. Um, his switch into this is nothing. I don't think this has Iron Hand. Looking at the rest of his team, but it could. And Krishalis is going to scout for it. And he could just throw off a free scald anyway. Whether he went for Iron Hand or Close Combat, Silver was very free there. I doubt he would U-turn on the Diancy that would otherwise claim a mom. Claim a kill. So it goes for the U-turn. The slow bro, I think he's just going to scald. He could slack off. He really could. But I would scald if I were him. He goes for the scald. Does 42%? Does it get a burn? He does get a burn. Okay, good. Slow bro can just switch out again. Gain the regenerator. And uh, be back at uh, a little bit over 60. Goes to the Diancy, assuming it can't touch it. But Nightshade actually does a lot because Diancy has no, no HP. I think it's base 50, and assuming it is specs, he's not very much invested. So this Nightshade will actually be a 2 hit KO. Exactly, he forgot it has shit HP. Well said. Uh, yeah, so this Nightshade will 2 hit KO. So I don't know if he's going to stack it, but I think he is. Because Diancy won't live a hit from other mounts anymore. And it's slower than every single mount. So he's probably just going to stack it. Um, wow, that's crazy. But Zatu is only at 26% right now. Um, and Kushalas could just go out into his own Zatu. Does he outspeed it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he's running a lot of speed. So we could just Nightshade here. And there's really nothing wrong with that. Nightshade into the Incineroar. He knows he outspeeds the Incineroar. So we can U-turn on it as well. Because he clicked U-turn on it last time. And he was faster. Um, he's at minus attack, but that's whatever. It's still chip. Um, so you U-turn out into your own Incineroar here, I think? Yeah. Get the Intimidate off. You take damage plus Toxic. Darkest Lariat. And you go for U-turn again, I'm assuming. Ah, the Zato could come in, but I still think U-turn is the play. Mm -hmm. It prevents everything else from coming in, basically. You get your Slowbro back in on most of the mods. Which is really good, because you can fire off a Scald, which is not only unresisted, but also doing a good amount of damage versus everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure what Hansuki's Incineroar spread is, but... Actually goes for Flare Blitz on the monkey. The monkey dies. He gets his Figgy Berry. Takes a little bit of Toxic. Ah, that's why he Flare Blitz, because he wanted to activate his own berry. Makes a lot of sense. Goes to his own Incineroar again. And um, I guess Koshalos could just U-turn here. He's going to live every move that isn't Earthquake. He could switch, scout for the Earthquake, go into maybe his own Pessimian, but he actually gets low kicked as he decides to U-turn out of there. And... Do you go into Pissimian here? I think you do. I'm not sure if you close combat, but... 
it goes to Zatu because it outspeeds and it can Nightshade. Very, very nice. I like it. Yeah, Nightshade has... I mean, it does have resistance. I was going to say it has no drawbacks. I don't see how Hansuki's winning, winning this anymore. Uh, Kushalos played this uh, very well. Uh, I think Hansuki played this eh, if I'm being honest. His matchup was meh anyway, so that's fair. Uh, but yeah, you just click Nightshade here. I don't think there's any way for Hansuki to come back. His comfy is too low. There's still a uh, there's still a Pharisee to wall at comfy. Zatu can definitely not do it, and Incineroar could not do it either. He's not going to break this team ever. Uh, comfy, yeah, you just go to Pharisee all the time. That's what I would do. I just click Jarabo. Drenicus makes contact, and it's not gaining much. So he gains 9, he takes 12. So he loses 3, and his Pharisee can just click Jarabo. He's going to take some Rocky Helmet from the Zatu, presumably. He's going to switch it to Zatu. He does not, so I don't I don't see how he's ever winning this anymore. I mean, I didn't see it either but either way, but yeah. Kushal is just going to play this out safely. Uh, probably going to go, well, actually, his own Zatu. And what, they're going to just click Nightshade till one of them dies? That's a bit boring, isn't it? <laughs> as, he clicked, as they both click Bruce, I mean, I don't know why... Hansuki is roosting here. There's, there's actually no way he's winning at this point. Especially considering Kushalos could just pivot into Slowbro with the Regenerator. Throw off a Scald, make uh, him waste roosts. He's also burned, so he's taking 6% every turn. Like, there's there's no actual way. Nightshade, it's roosts. I don't know how much roost he has used, but it's... It, okay, so 15 Nightshade left from this Zatu and 14 roosts. And the other one? Thank you, Doc. 10 roosts left and 19 nightshades. So he's, he has a lot more nightshades, but uh, the roosts... Uh, like, if he had more roosts, maybe he could do it? I don't know how, how much HP the Incineroar has left. I think it's very, very low because of the low kick. So it will die to the nightshade. But uh, I think if you if you look like, roost to Zatu, go to Slowbro to pivot to gain the HP back, um, you're just forever going to do this. <laughs> yeah, now you... Oh, well, I was going to say, now you can just go to Slowbro because... You can take any hit, you can fire off a Scott, and then you go back to Zato and you outspeed speed anyway. He your turns, takes the Rocky Helmet. I mean, I understand you do damage, especially if you crit, but still. He roosts as Snowbro is going to take toxic damage. He can fire off one Scald, or we can double back immediately into Zato. He does fire off once Lack off, okay. He doesn't fire off anything. Don't know what that really did for him. Might have just Scald as well. As Zato clicks your turn, doesn't want to waste any Nightshades, apparently. Um, I really don't think it matters. Kushalos could go into his own Zatu here at this point, yeah. Make him take some more Rocky Helmet and Burn. Roost up again, go for Nightshade again. There's there's no win con. There's no win con for Honsuki. <laughs> I don't know why he's playing it like this, but there's no win con. Kushalos could just play this out very, very, very slowly. And just win. Mm -hmm. Don't even know what they're taking the time for right now. Anyway, I think that Kushalos, I don't know if it's, if it's due to his prep or whatever, but his matchup was quite good. Um, so I, I, I guess I should say he prepped it very well. And uh, he didn't misplay it either. I think uh, I think he made the right plays. Besides maybe going hard Dayanzi on the Zatu. Um, because he could have gotten more kills with the Dayanzi and maybe not dragged it out as long as it is now. With the, the Zatu versus Zatu thing. But uh, I also don't think it matters as much. Um... It was, it, it was a misplay, not gonna lie. It was a misplay, but it wasn't a big one. It didn't really matter too much. Goes for the Calm Mind with Slowbro, which I don't fully understand. I guess he wants to waste a few Nightshades. Goes for Scald here. Is he gonna sack off the Slowbro so he can kill it with maybe knockoff from the uh, Basimian? Oh, that might be it. So he's called again. It's at 5%. Yeah, exactly. Your Slowbro dies. Now you go into Basimian, you click knockoff, you win the game. Okay, so that's gonna be it. Kushalos wins pretty convincingly versus Hansuki. Um, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did like it. Subscribe to Doc and to me. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. And I will see you next time. Later.